What's up y'all and welcome back to Brittany Automotive. So some of us are delusional and by some of us, I mean I am delusional. Um, so today is August 20th. You guys aren't gonna be seeing this right now, but it's August, August 20th, just so you know whenever I actually post this video. Um, LS Fest is on the 6th of September, I believe, 6th, 7th, 8th, or 8th, 9th, 10th, something like that. Really close, uh, three weeks away. Less than three weeks now. Um, so we're probably gonna have two weeks to do this. And so, um, if you guys didn't know, Scog and Dickey is my engine sponsor, and they had sent a bunch of parts for the third gen, because I have an engine sitting here for the third gen. Well, uh, somebody had the wise idea, and by somebody, I mean someone at Scoggin, so it wasn't even my fault. Um, they had made a joke saying that I should just call an audible and put all of that to the sixth gen. And... I kind of like, I know they were joking, but I kind of like the sound of it, so I made sure it was okay with them. We hit up GPI, we hit up Circle D, and welcome to a two-week freaking thrash build again this year, because that's what we're going to be doing in the 6th gen. Now, all of the engine stuff is going to be in the next video, so don't worry about all that. Step one is pulling this sucker out, and I have not worked on OEM pulling an engine out of OEM uh, since three years ago in a 1993 Camaro and it's a little more electronic now. So this will be fun and I have help. So don't yell at me, I'm not a miracle worker. So let's go pull this engine.
Okay, I don't want to leave you guys completely hanging on some information, but we're going to get into a lot more detail about the engine in the next video. But I do want to answer some of the common questions that I've gotten on the Fortune as well. Just because these are in fact the same engine, they are both LT1s and they are both direct injected. And we are going to be keeping the direct injection in this car. We did it last year with the Fortune. I'm very intrigued by it, so we we're keeping it. Um, we are getting rid of DOD. We got rid of DOD in the Fortune as well. And the Fortune, we actually utilize the VVT. There is sometimes that you can utilize it. We are going to be deleting VVT on this one. Kind of reminder, we had just under three weeks to get this done. Um, it was two and some change. So there was some things that we could have changed and we just didn't have the ability to. We were kind of in a time crunch. Um, like we went to get our heads ported and they still hit the pistons and that's nobody's fault but our own. Um, so we had to grind on them a little bit, but that's okay. And I decided to get COVID a week out. It's kind of why I sound the way that I do, but we are powering through. We are checking through. Um, this is a COVID engine, so nobody touched the internals of my engine until it's been cycled through a few times, kill all the germs in there. Um, but I do want to thank Scog and Dicky Parts Center because they are probably the one and only reason we did this and the one and only reason we were able to get it done. So thank you so much to them. We're also going to be running a GPI cam and in that playing is rowdy so stay tuned to see all of the specs on that but again huge thank you to Scog and Dickie their whole rotating assembly is in this thing and they are genuinely the only reason this is done now I have a Camaro I have to go put back together or we're not going to make it to LS Best East on the 6th through the 8th which I'm going to be in the Scog and Dickie booth so you better be there look for a bright orange Camaro but I'm going to leave you guys to this to just rock out with me for the rest of the video I want to thank you guys so much you guys are the reason I get to do this every day and I love you for that so thank you for watching my video but stay tuned for next week because all the cool shiny stuff goes in but yeah let's rock out together bye